Okay, today's recipe we're going to kind of go by is for uh, calico beans. It's an old recipe. When you can see there, it takes bacon and hamburger and onion. Now, I'm not going to use green beans in mine. I'm going to double the butter beans because we like those better. And a number two can basically converts to 20 ounce, a 20 ounce can. And there's the instructions. So you can pause this and jot this down if you want. And we'll get started. All right, I'm uh, <clears throat> browning up the bacon. The cast iron skillet. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna work on getting all the beans into the uh, mixing bowl to mix them up. We got baked beans, butter beans, and some kidney beans. I'm not doing the uh, green beans. There's a bottle of that homemade white grape wine I made. Got a video on that. Got several wine videos. And if you want to find these videos, they're all one convenient playlist called Tammy's Kitchen. Get on there and check them out. Okay, got all them beans in the mixing bowl here. You drain all your beans except the green, or uh, yeah, green beans. We're not using green beans, except the baked beans. You leave them juice and all. You use them juice and all. But the butter beans and the kidney beans, you drain the juice off of this mixed up here a little bit okay we'll get our uh, bacon chopped and throw it in here and then when we got the meat the ground meat that we were using we'll chop that and get it in here I got to chop an onion up yet and I'll come back and show it to you when it's all together in the bowl and then we'll put it in our uh, baking dish and put it in the oven all right, I chopped a large onion up, kind of rough, just rough cut. And to the beans, I'm going to add a, a cup of brown sugar. Okay, I added a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of dry mustard, a teaspoon of salt, and it calls for half a cup of uh, regular ketchup. So that's the next thing going in. And once I add the meat and chop the bacon and throw it in there, I'll get it all stirred up and show you. Then we'll let our meat and our onions brown a little bit more here. And then I'll dump that in the bowl, give everything a good stirring to mix it. And then I'll get it in the uh, baking dish. There it is in the baking pan. Pop it in my preheated oven, it's 350 degrees, and this bakes for 40 minutes. And uh, <clears throat> I think we're just gonna have uh, this and maybe some fried hot dogs for supper tonight. I don't eat hot dogs too often because of the nitrates and stuff in them. But once in a while, I like to have a few. So we'll, uh, we'll get this in the oven and when it's done, we'll fry a few hot dogs up and plate this and show you what it's all about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, they're all nice and baked up there in the oven. Uh -huh. There's a couple fried hot dogs. There's them beans all baked and done up. Look pretty good. See if we get approval from the boss on them. Well, she's stuffing them in. They're good. Yep, says they're good. All right, I'm going to put a little relish on my hot dogs and uh, enjoy my supper. Y'all come back and we'll cook you something else. <laughs> 